it's Kat from Strong Women and for our exercise library today we are going through some single leg deadlifts and some proper deadlifts. So for this you will need a body, potentially some weight as well. So let's go through it. So a single leg deadlift is a hinge hip movement, just like your deadlift. When we squat we tend to bend right down with our knees this time. Our knees are going to have a micro bend in them. They're not going to be locked out, otherwise you won't be able to bend very much with your hips. And you'll start bending with your back, and we don't want that. So have a micro bend in your knees. Your knees are still going to stay over your ankles, so it's just a micro bend. And push those hips back as far as you can. Now, that we're going to do on one leg. So, one leg stays on the ground, like I said, micro bend with that leg. The leg that's in the air is going to go right back behind you. Keep your vision in front of you. You'll feel stretch through here and in your butt as well. If you need to, put your hands out like a tightrope walker if you're finding that you are off balance. If you are off balance, great. All those stabilizers in your body are working even harder to keep you upright. Try not to put the foot on the ground as much as possible. Push back with your hips. Notice my back doesn't move at all. Straight up and down. I'm focusing on this little dot on the wall. So I have a non-moving focal point that's gonna keep me upright. My arms are out like a tightrope walker as well. Now we can do these with weights, of course we can. So let's put the weight on the leg that's in the air. That way we're kind of counterbalancing it out. Once again, the arm is out like a tightrope walker and I'm staring at one spot to keep that center of focus and it helps keep balance as well. So, leg is off the ground, focusing on my point, micro bending the knee, pushing back through the hips, push down to the ground, squeeze your glutes as you lift up. Now, as you notice, I'm not trying to reach the ground with the hand that's holding the weight. The hand is literally just holding a weight just to add a bit more resistance to the move. So, I am not trying to reach for the ground. My arms are doing absolutely nothing other than just holding the weight. That's all they do. Your arm doesn't move. So, don't try to go, I've got to put the weight on the ground because then this starts happening. And as you can see, my back is moving and I'm gonna end up with a sore back. Who the hell wants that? I do. Okay, so that's the single leg deadlift. Now, a normal deadlift, it's kind of hard to do without a weight, so you do need some sort of weight. So if you don't have any weights at home or access to a gym, um, find something that is relatively heavy, whether it's a tin of paint or your kid, the dog, whatever you can find that's got a bit of weight to it, a big heavy rock in the backyard, um, whatever works. <laughs> so, when you're doing the deadlift with a weight like a kettlebell, you want that weight to be right smack bang in between your ankles. Don't be stepping in front of it, don't be stepping too far in front of the weight, and don't have the weight too far in front of you. So, be right over the weight, so the weight is in between your ankles. I'm going to push my hips back, grab, drop down, pick the weight up and stand up. Now I'm ready to do this move. Pushing my hips back, I'm trying to thread, so where my hands naturally lie, right down the side of my body, in line with my ankles, hey? Yeah, where the weight is. That's where I'm going to put the weight back there. So I'm not trying to put the weight in front of me, I'm trying to let it drop where my hands naturally fall. So push the, your hips back, you do not have to touch the ground. Squeeze your glutes and stand up. If you get to about here and you really want to touch the ground, then you're going to start doing this again and moving with your back. Once again, you're going to get a sore back. The ground is not the aim. The moving your butt is. So you want a good booty and a nice straight back and not a sore back. Squeeze your butt out. Push it out. Squeeze your butt come back up. Once again, don't aim for the ground. Your arms are just holding the weight. This is a lower body exercise. Your arms don't do anything other than hold the weight. 
You can also do this move with a barbell. Exactly the same as with, slightly different with the kettlebell and the barbell is the bar is going to be in front of you and you're not threading it through. So slight differences there. With the bar, have the bar rolled up over your feet. You can do this sumo, which I find a lot of girls find it a lot easier. So the legs are out really super wide. Um, it's up to you, whatever you find comfortable. Reach down for the bar. And as you can see, I'm leaning right over the bar. So I want to pull myself back. So my shoulders, elbows, wrists are all in line with where the bar is. I'm going to squeeze my butt and stand up. Let the bar roll over your thighs. Halfway down your shin is fine. Squeeze your butt, stand up. Once again, the ground isn't the aim. Squeeze your butt, halfway down. If I go to the ground, I start moving my back. We don't want to do that. It's not a majorly back exercise of trying to work glutes and hamstrings more so. The back is a secondary option. Okay, so there are some deadlift exercises that you can try. Have fun with those and stay strong.